Hi, and welcome to part one of an introduction to Clarify's portal. In these sessions, we'll be showing you how to get started building a custom model on Clarify's platform. In this particular session, you're going to learn how to navigate around portal and how to upload your data. After you've signed up for an account, you can log in at portal.clarify.com slash login. And upon login, you're directed to portal's main page that displays your applications. As a new user, your account will look slightly different because it won't be as populated by applications like this account. So this is like a preview of what your account will look like once you've begun adding applications. But what exactly is an application? You can think of an application kind of like a project folder. Apps or applications are the basic building blocks for creating projects on the Clarify platform. Your data, annotations, models, predictions, searches, they all are contained within applications. So in order to get started on your first application, click the Create button at the top right-hand corner of the page. A modal will pop up prompting you for some basic information about your new app. You'll need to provide a short identifier that will serve as your app ID. This identifier should be unique to your project in some way. I usually use keywords pertaining to subject matter or use case. You also have the option to enter a display name or a description, but you can also insert or edit these details at a later time as well. You'll want to select your language. It defaults to English. And then most importantly, you're going to need to select a base workflow. We need to talk about what a base workflow is before you can select one. A base workflow includes one pre-built Clarify model that provides the basic structure for indexing your data. It gives you kind of a head start when you're working with your data by pre-indexing your inputs for search and by providing a default embedding space for your custom models. Your base workflow is what makes your data sortable and searchable immediately when it's uploaded. So you'll wanna choose a base workflow that you can build upon to create your desired custom model. For example, if you plan to train a custom model around food, then you could select the food model as your base to optimize your custom model performance. If you were going to work with text and you wanna create a custom NLP model, you would want to select the text base workflow. My advice is that 99 out of 100 times, you'll probably choose the general model as your base workflow because it is our most powerful all-purpose model. It was trained to recognize over 9,000 concepts that represent common objects and themes in everyday life around the world. Once you fill out the information, click Create. And once you've created your app, it's added to your portal homepage. Once you click the app, you'll be brought to the Application Details page, which is a bit like the homepage for your app. On the Application Details page, you can edit your application name or application description. You can find your app ID in the top left-hand corner. Your default API key with all scopes is located in the bottom left corner of your page. From here, you can also create your own API key with custom scopes. For example, if you wanted to give somebody API access to your app for predictions only, but not allow them to see any of your training inputs, you could create a custom prediction only API key, like so. If you'd like to give another user access to your application, you can add them as a collaborator by entering their email address here. You can also grant them custom scopes to those collaborators in the same way that you create custom API keys. And finally, if you decide for whatever reason that you want to delete your application, you can do so here in the danger zone. It's important to note that even though there is a button for delete all inputs, that function is currently disabled. You can delete your inputs in batches in Explorer or delete the app entirely. You can always return to this application details page by clicking on the application details icon on the left navigation sidebar right here. The left hand navigation sidebar allows you to navigate through the different pages of portal. From it you can return to your application details page. You can also return to your applications home page. You can add data, upload data through data mode. You can view and curate your data in Explorer. You can create workflows and model mode, create labeling tasks in Labeler. You can find links to documentation. You can report bugs if you run into any or send feedback or talk to a customer service representative through chat. And then finally, at the very bottom, you can access your account settings. So at this point in our project, we want to start adding data. So we'll go into data mode. You can access data mode here, again on the left-hand sidebar, 
or you can also access it here from the Add Inputs button. Here in data mode, you can upload images, video, or text from either a local directory or URLs. You can click here to browse your local files, or you can provide direct links to files from the web right here. Most often, I will simply drag and drop my files straight onto the page if I already have them downloaded locally. 128 images total is the maximum number of images that can be uploaded at once. However, I tend to select between 25 and 50 at a time, depending upon how large my file sizes are, just to ensure that they upload fine. So right now I'm going to grab 25 images and drag and drop to upload them. This modal is for after you have created concepts, so we don't have concepts yet, so we're not going to worry about it right now, but we'll come back to that in a later session. So you don't want to leave your page while your uploads are processing, that's very important. And you can notice right here that there is a space for processing numbers to be reflected, however lately these have been rather finicky, so we can't rely on them. So the best thing I would recommend doing is let data mode stay here in the background, and what you should do is open your explorer in another tab, either by right clicking on it or hitting command and clicking on it there. So we can open explorer in a whole other tab and start to sort of visually inspect and curate our data while the uploads finish in the background. And then in order to make sure that our data is continuing to upload and then finishing, we can refresh the page, just kind of visually track that. And that's how you upload data into Clarify's platform. So thank you so much for watching. And in the next session, we will be going over how to curate and label your data in Explore.